Saturday. Yeah, Muffalo, we got a show. We do? Yeah, summer hours. Oh, okay. Well, hi. Let's draw something. Okay, get off the table. It's very comfy. <sighs> Muffalo. Okay, all right, I'm coming. All right. Okay, put your pen ready. Yeah, all right. <laughs> How you doing? Happy Saturday. It's me, John, and that buddy over there is Muffalo. Hi. And um, today I'm going to show you how to draw a peacock using nothing but numbers and letters because that's the Muffalo potato way. We got a request written in from uh, Sanjivan who requested a peacock and I realized I've never drawn one. So let's draw a peacock. Uh, you need uh, three things, actually four things today. You need a pen, you need a piece of paper, you need a pencil. This is a, 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 a drafting pencil, but uh, still counts as a pencil. And you need to watch me. So uh, the final artwork is going to be horizontal, long ways across. So we're gonna start the drawing this way and we might flip it on its side. You know what we do, we just flip back and forth and do things. It's Muffalo Potato. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to be fun. How's that sound? Good. Okay, all right. So the peacock is that fantastic uh, blue bird that has that massive tail that kind of just flares out with all those beautiful, brilliant colors. So first we're gonna draw the, the bird itself centered right here, and then we're gonna get to that plumage. Plumage? Fancy word for feathers. Uh-oh, here comes a cough. John! Hold on. <coughs> okay. <laughs> I know, I know. Live, live streaming, that's what happens. Okay, what I want you to draw right here, right around in the lower part of the center of the paper, I want you to draw an S, okay? So put your pen here, I want you to go down, I want you to go around a little bit and back around like this. So it's an S, it's a little bit at an angle, as you can see, it doesn't come all the way back up. That's just the kind of S that I would like you to draw right now. Notice where it's placed in the paper. A nice, simple S, a little easy on the tail at the end. Does that make sense? I guess so. All right, okay, so there you go. Nice, easy, easy S. Okay. All right. Now that you got the S done, I want, to, I want you to draw a J at a, at a slight angle. I want you to come down here and around like this, okay? So J, down and around, just like that. S, J. Super John! Super, super John. <laughs> Silly jump rope. Could be that too. Just, you know, throwing it out there. S, J, very good. Close off the shape with a C, a nice, Bouncy C coming around just like this. Okay, so now we've closed off that shape on our C. C? C. Okay, good. Uh, we're going to turn the page sideways this way real quick. We're going to add a V to close off this shape. So down and back up again. There's our V that closes off that shape. So this is the, the body of our peacock. So there's our V. And now we want to draw the number nine in this space right here. A pretty good sized nine. Down and around, just like that. There's the number nine sitting pretty as you please, right there. And then just to the right side of the inside of that part of the nine, draw a very small zero. Or an O. Or an O, and then you can color in the rest. Okay, so that's the eye of our peacock. So just a couple more things and the body of the peacock is, is basically finished. Then we can move on to the rest of the bird, um, which is very, very fancy, fancy, if I do say so myself. Okay, so the peacock has uh, this little um, plumage at the top of, of its head. So what I want you to do is kind of have your paper at an angle like this and just a little ways off the bird itself, I want you to draw two number eights, one on top of the other, okay? Not too big. So here's one eight right here, just like that. See the eight? And then another eight coming down just like that. Two eights, 88, eight, eight. Kind of floating out there at an angle. So when you straighten up your paper, you see where it's sitting? It's sort of sitting back there a little bit, okay? Does that make sense? Sort of, kind of. Okay, as long as it sort of, kind of makes sense, Muffalo, we're in good shape. That's all I'm really concerned about. Now, we need to make little teeny stick thingies connecting these shapes to the head of our peacock. So I'm gonna turn my page at a diagonal. I'm gonna do a wide V. So I start at the last 
part of that eight, I go down, I go all the way across to the first part of that eight. So I go down and back up with a very wide V. See how that works? And then inside that, I'm gonna do a narrow V that starts here, goes down, and connects to the, the part of the eight right next to it here. So it's down and up again. So it's two Vs, a wide V and a skinny V, and that creates that nice shape that you see uh, that peacocks have, which is kind of interesting. All righty then. We have to do a capital letter D right here, just hugging the bottom part of the face. That is important when you color in the bird later. So the D is gonna touch the eye almost, come around like this and stop right there. So you got your D shape right there, okay? Good? Good. Okay, now we're gonna get to something really, really fascinating and this is where the pencil comes in because I need to draw a big, big letter as a guide. Can you guess what letter that is, Muffalo? Is it gonna be a giant capital D? Yeah, that's no fair because you already know what I'm doing. Kinda. Okay, so turn your paper straight up and down so that the bird's head is facing to the right and the rest of the bird is facing to the left. My left hand right here. And we're gonna do a big capital D. It's gonna come straight down through the body of the bird like this and then it's gonna hook all the way around. Make it a nice even D, it can be as big as you want. The bigger it is, the bigger the plumage of the peacock is. Um, doesn't have to be perfect, just needs to be fun, but it's important to get this, this shape of the D because we're gonna use it as the structure for the bird. That's why I'm doing in pencil because I don't necessarily want to ink all of it in and that's the good part about a pencil is that you're not really committing to it. So here I am, uh, uh, here's my big giant D coming straight down through the bird straight down to the bird, to the bottom right about there. And then I'm going to go up, 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 up and around, 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 and close it off there. There is a giant capital D. Do you see that? Sure do. Okay, so that is going to be sort of the basis for the plumage that we're gonna draw now. And this is a cartoon peacock, so it's gonna you know, be a little bit uh, uh, fanciful and fun. But um, the trick to this is we're going to do lowercase w's going all the way around and then pointy m's going all the way around on the other side. So we're gonna start here on the inside of our D shape with um, what I like to call lowercase w's, which are curvy. So I start here right at the top of the D and I go down, up, down, up. So there's a W, there's my first W right there, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do W's going all the way around the inside of the D. So here's another W. Now, if you make them too small, you're gonna be drawing W's all day long. And if you make them too big, well, then the, the peacock's gonna have giant feathers. So find a happy medium. So here's another W. So that's one, two, three W's. Here's a fourth one, W, coming around. Another W. Do the best you can to make them the same size. I'm not uh, fantastic at it, but it doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to be fun. W, I don't know if I can fit in another W, so I think I'm just gonna fit in a U. How's that sound? Cool. Okay, so there we have a whole bunch of Ws and a, and a U at the end because, well, that's what we do. So now that I have all these cool Ws, I'm gonna start back again at the beginning. And remember, we're just spinning our paper around. That's the fun part about our drawing. And now we're gonna do pointy Ms. Pointy Ms. So now I go up, down, up, down. So I'm, gonna, I'm connecting my pointy Ms at the bottom to the tops of the lowercase Ws. So it's sort of like making a bunch of teardrops. See that? Up, down, up, down. There's another pointy M. Gonna do it again. Up, down, up, down. And remember, you know, take your time, guys. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect, just needs to be fun. And I'm, maybe if I go a little fast, you can come back to it later, but I'll, I'll try not to go too fast. I'll slow down a little bit, maybe. Yeah, you're drawing way too fast. Okay. Up, down, up, down. There's another M. Up, down. Up, down, do, 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 do. Boy, this is kind of fun. So I'm just spinning the paper around, making pointy M's. What are you gonna do, half a pointy M? I am gonna do half a pointy M, or why don't I just turn it upside down and just do a V. Oh. Yeah, that was kind of cool. 
Okay, so while you guys are catching up to that, I just thought I'd let you know, if you join me and you're watching right now, that you should subscribe to Muffalo Potato. We do this every Monday, uh, sorry, every Wednesday and Saturday at 12 noon Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern, all through summer. So subscribe to the show that you know and love so much or that you just kind of like. And again, write to me, John at MuffaloPotato.com. Ask your parents permission. Send me your artwork you're doing. Send me your requests. I read and respond to everything. Um, and let's keep going. Okay, so let's turn our paper this way. We're gonna, we are gonna draw the line here above and below the peacock's body to signif signif signify, signify, signi uh oh, there goes my English. Wow, I don't even know what you're saying. Okay, uh, it's just to show where, where the tail ends, okay? Okay. And in between the, all these creases, I want you to draw a little one. And we're gonna go around and we're gonna keep pointing that one back towards the middle of the body. So watch me first. Back towards the middle, back towards the middle. See, I'm, I'm pointing that one so it's coming down. I always wanna rotate the paper, take my time. So now this brings the, each individual feather, or at least the feeling of it, back towards the middle of our peacock without drawing a line going all the way back. See how I kind of go halfway and then I sort of make it go away and make it disappear? So, so far, your peacock should look somewhat like this. Hopefully, that's where you're at right now. Um, and now we need to draw those, those little bullseyes that these peacocks have, and that's as easy as drawing zeros inside each one of these little points, okay? So they're fairly big size zeros. Or O's, or they could be O's, you're right too. So we're gonna draw a zero or an O, not touching the edges, but filling in all the space there, like this. See that? Yeah. Okay, so these are just zeros inside our points. I mean, a peacock is a really fantastic bird. Sanji, thank you for uh, writing in and requesting it. I can't believe we've never drawn one before. It's kind of cool. Um, but they have these sort of these bullseye shaped uh, feathers that they flare out. So there's our zeros that are inside each one of our little teeny kind of points that we made at the end. And we're gonna fit in a, a few more uh, bullseyes uh, here. And that's just gonna be um, three zeros. And you can put them, um, you can put them within the feather that we see here, within these lines right here. So I can put one here and one here. And again, I'm just rotating the page fairly big. So there's three here, and maybe we'll do three on this side too. We'll do one here and one here and one here. Okay, so that's our second row that we have of feathers. And what you want to do now is you can easily, easily just draw really small ones pointing again back in towards the center of the bird. Now for these guys, draw little teeny zeros inside each zero. John, you are going way too fast. Okay, so after I draw these zeros, I'm gonna, I'm gonna slow down just for a sec so you guys can catch up. Sorry if I'm drawing quickly. It's, it's exciting making a peacock. Yeah. Yeah, it is, it's kind of fun. A little bit of an adventure, okay? So, uh, you've got these little zeros, inside zeros, little ones pointing in towards the body of the bird. And we're gonna do a couple quick indications of feathers for our peacock here. And that's as easy as going back to the body and drawing a W and a little U underneath it. See how I did that? I'll do one more down here, a little bit bigger. W and then a U just like that. So without drawing that over and over and over again, it gives your eye the idea that this peacock is full of feathers. And this is a very sort of a blue um, feathery uh, body that the, uh, the peacock has. So we'll color that in blue when it's time to color it in. So what do you think's left, Mufflo? The feet. The feet, absolutely. Okay, so to do the feet, let's do two small number 11s uh, right next to each other. So there's an 11 and there's an 11. Got two 11s right there. See that coming down? Yeah. 
Okay, and we'll do a V going this way and a V going this way. So first I'll, I'll rotate the paper this way and I'll do a V going that way. And I'll rotate the paper the other way and I'll do a V going this way. And then I'll add just the number three on either side, just to give you an indication of clawed feet. So there you go. There's our little peacock clawed feet. Now the, the peacock does have a wing but it's, it's uh, I think it can hover, it can fly a little bit, but it doesn't fly a whole lot, kind of coasts. So the wing um, could just be a W, just like this, a fairly big, flashy W, like that, okay? Um, but yeah, that's, that, this isn't the wing that the, the peacock is flaring out. This is actually um, the tail feathers, which is really fascinating. So now we're gonna do something neat. We're gonna draw some feathers. You remember we've done hatching before, right? So we're gonna do hatching and we're gonna do it starting here, going right alongside each one of these ones. And I promise you, it's gonna make this bird look unbelievable. Check this out. So you put your paper at an angle. It's just gonna be a few ones following this line. So watch what I do. It, I'm just drawing ones, all going in the same direction at a slight angle. See if the paper's straight up and down, see how it's going at an angle. And I'm going to continue to make these ones just like this. Not a whole bunch of them, maybe five or six. Maybe four, maybe three. There's three. There's three. You don't have to do them all the way down to the middle, but it just gives you an indication of the feathers. And again, I'm trying to keep it at that same angle, sort of like at a 45 degree angle to the line. So if this line's going this way, my little ones are always going at this angle, okay? So that's why I rotate the paper, just to make it a little bit easier on my... See how I'm doing it? That looks cool. Oh yeah, yeah, wait till we turn this upside down. You guys are gonna be amazed. So it looks like it's an awful lot of detail work, but these are all ones and zeros and Vs and Ws. You don't even see the pencil D anymore, do you? No. No, not at all. How cool is that? That looks amazing. Yeah, so by request from Sanjivan, thank you for writing in. That is how you do a peacock, the muffalo potato weight, using nothing but numbers and letters. Now comes really the most fun part of everything, which is... Coloring it in. Coloring it in. It, the, the peacock's feathers are all kinds of neat colors. There's greens and blues and reds. This is gonna take a little while. Take your time, we're in no rush. It's Saturday, we can get this done together. Um, so I'm gonna bring down my favorite little oil crayons and we're going to goof around. And again, it's a cartoon bird, so it doesn't have to be exactly the colors that you see. It can, it can be a little bit creative and imaginative. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put red around the inside circle of each of these zeros. Or O's. Or O's that we drew. This looks like a lot of work. It is, but it's gonna look really cool, I promise. So now I'm just taking my red crayon and I'm going around the outside of each of these zeros. And I go quickly, you know me, I'm sloppy. You're very sloppy. Yeah, I'm a little sloppy. Um, you can take your time. I'm just gonna give you a, 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 an idea and then I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna go around and put red on that outer circle because the inside circle, we're gonna add a different color to. Well, I hope it's a nice evening or a nice uh, time of the day wherever you guys are at right now. Hope you're enjoying your Saturday. Um, okay, so there you go, there's our reds. And now inside each of those reds, I'm gonna do a light blue. So I'm gonna color light blue inside each one of those little circles right there. Look at that. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, because the peacocks are known for having really cool, what's that word I used? Plumage. Plumage, which is just a fancy word for feathers. Now you know. You can be hanging out with your friends. You can go, that bird has amazing plumage. And your friends are gonna be like, huh? 
and you'd be like, yeah, see, I know a thing or two that you don't. Just figuring it out. Okay, so now we got blue and red. Um, the body of the, uh, of the peacock is blue. So we can uh, uh, very easily do the same thing. I'm gonna use light blue um, to get the top part of the bird covered. Um, the wing of the peacock, if my memory serves me correctly, is actually kind of yellowish. So I did light blue as a surround, and then I'm gonna use a darker blue. And that the D under the I, we keep white, because the peacock has white stripes. And I think the white stripe follows its way to the bill. So the, so the, the, the bill of the uh, peacock is also like black and white. So we can leave it white. So there we go, that's two colors blue right there. And if you only have one color blue, you know my old trick, you press hard and you press light and use the pressure from your crayon to dictate the tone of the color, which is kind of cool. So there's our peacock body, which is cool. And then uh, the wing, I think, is sort of like a yellowish orange. So I'm just gonna color that in. Get that cool yellow color real quick. And then, of course, the peacock's feet. Just like that. Okay. Um, the little headdress that the peacock has, those are also blue, so we're gonna color that in blue. And now I got light green, because a whole lot of the rest of this guy is gonna be light green and dark green. So with my light green, I'm gonna go around the outside. I told you this takes a long time. I know, I'm gonna take a nap. No, 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 no. Just relax and enjoy coloring with me. We're hanging out on a Saturday. Um, so I hope, just so you guys know, in case you're tuning in for the first time, we're doing live stream draws on Saturday, today, and every Wednesday. So Wednesdays and Saturdays throughout summer till it's time to return back to school or the weather gets colder or Halloween comes around. You know, it seems like it's a long ways off, but it's gonna be here before you know it, trust me. Um, we'll be doing this twice a week, so make sure you subscribe, make sure you tune in. It's, I'm glad that you guys are watching and drawing along with me. I love the work you've been sending in. Uh, and as you know, artwork is a great, exciting, and fun and rewarding thing to do. I've been drawing my entire life, ever since I was a little, little, little kid. Uh, and I hope you guys continue to enjoy and love doing art as much as I do, because there's nothing in the world as fun as making artwork. It's really exciting. Look how cool that's turning out. I hope you can see the, the neat colors that are coming to life. Um, we're gonna do a little bit of light green here on the inside, light green surround for the other bullseye part here. Just getting a nice circle around those bullseyes. I call them bullseyes. They look like bullseyes. They look like bullseyes? I don't even know what that means. Well, I just, just the term muffalo, it's really not that important. And on the side opposite from the hatching, we'll use light green there as well, okay? So I'll do light green here and light green here. And again, you know, you don't have to color the whole thing in. You can just do a little indication. You can see it's really bringing the, um, the feathers and the peacock to life though, huh? Yes, it's pretty colorful. Yeah, it is, it is colorful. Awful lot of fun. This it's fun. This is a big picture. We wound up using almost the whole page. We haven't done that in a while. Yeah. So if you guys have any ideas for any animals or um, exotic, uh, interesting birds or reptiles or things, you know, be sure to write in and and uh, and request. I have gotten requests in the past for snakes. The problem with drawing a snake is it's pretty much two S's. <laughs> <Ta -da! laughs> so it's really not much I'm glad the audience like that it's really there's really not much to do when you have to draw a snake although I imagine I should find a way to be a little creative with that um, so now I'm using a darker green for the side where I we drew that hatching and it's just again creating more tone for the peacock's feathers boy that's really That looks so nice. It does. Um, that's really pretty. Yeah, it turned out good, Muffle. I'm glad you like it. 
I think at the very at the very top, if you want to do like little teeny V's with your dark green in between each one of these W's, like little V's, just to add a little more, you know, oomph to it, you can do that. You can do like a V here. I'm just doing it with crayon. Because they're really the 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 the, the plumage. That's a fancy word for feathers. That's right. The plumage on these guys is immense, and it's beautiful, and it's very feathery, and it's very soft. So that's actually a really nice kind of finishing look on that. Uh, one last thing real quick. If you have gray, uh, you might want to do a little line of gray uh, in between the peacock's feet and running to the left and to the right of it, just a little shading like this. And all that lets you know is that the peacock is standing up and that this thing is casting a nice long shadow across the bottom. How's that look? It looks beautiful. Yeah, it does. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, moms and dads, brothers and sisters, thank you so much. Thank you for joining me on our first Saturday. We used to do Muffalo Potato every Saturday for years, going back to 2013. So it's kind of nice to be back on a Saturday morning. I'm glad you joined us. Um, remember to uh, write in to me, john at muffalopotato.com. Ask your parents permission. Uh, send me your artwork, ask me a question, or just write to say hi. I'll answer that question any old time. And remember, ah, wait, let me say it. Okay, Muffalo. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just needs to be fun. That's exactly it. Okay, have a good weekend. Bye bye. Bye, guys. We'll see you on Wednesday. Bye bye.